rise and extend. Without objection. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, it's a darn good thing that the credit reporting agencies don't factor in each American's share of the national debt when they calculate an individual's credit scores. If the agencies did, there would be quite a few otherwise eligible bar borrowers who couldn't get a mortgage or a car loan. Think about that. I wonder why they don't include the national debt. Perhaps it's because no one seems to think it's real. Madam Speaker, it is real. Last year, America spent $250 billion in interest payments alone. $250 billion. That's $250 billion a year we cannot invest in America's future. Yet, in spite of the situation, Congress is preparing a nut to increase the debt again to, by another $1.8 trillion. Attaching it to a must-pass defense bill holds our troops hostage. And it might be convenient politics, but our country deserves much better. Congress could use the TARP returns to pay down the debt and redirect the failed stimulus money to tax reforms that actually work. Wouldn't that be unique? I yield back the balance of my time. For what purposes is the gentleman from Illinois?